Modern Warfare 3 introduces open combat missions, which for the first time allows players the choice of how to complete objectives based on their preferred playstyle. Open combat missions are part of the campaign. They're part of the story, but you get to play them in the way that you want to play them. Those who like stealth gameplay can play it stealthily. Those who like to snipe, or if you like vehicles, or if you like to go guns and blazing, all of those options are supported and afforded to you as a player. This isn't just some additional mode that lives alongside the campaign. This is intertwined with the story and we've intentionally dispersed these throughout the campaign. When the player starts the mission, they are given a loadout, but as they go through and play, they'll be encountering new weapons, tacticals, loot crates, and these are all added to your arsenal. Players can change it up, play the mission now with suppressed weapons and sneak around, or strap on armor plates and run in loud, get right into the action. Enemies are now adapting and adjusting to your playstyle. Open combat missions have a decent amount of replayability aspect to them. And when I say that, it's less about go through the entire game and start over and play it a second time. It's more about, within each mission, trying to experience it in different ways. In one level, we start you on top of a catwalk overlooking the entire level. Hopefully by that point in the game, the player has gotten to a point where they can figure out how to start picking it apart. So player empowerment is a huge part of that level. You may even decide, you know, to challenge yourself on some of these, like what's the fastest I can do this, or can I just bring a knife to a gunfight and really kind of push the bounds on what you can bring as a player. These are the type of campaign missions that we've always wanted to create, and we just can't wait to get them into the hands of the players. Uh, okay, so as we have heard in the video, these people, they are bringing some new thing in the game, which is called open combat mission. Well, as you might have already understood slightly from the video clip, what does it mean to say? Well, I'm going to go deep inside a little bit where I have read this blog post, the same blog post, which is related to that video itself. Here, there's certain things that intrigued me in a way that this time, if we have any of the water bodies, we would be freely be able to navigate through it, finding our own way to meet our objective. So this is going to be fun on one side. On the second note, I found vehicles which says open combat missions often contain drivable vehicles, whether it is armored SUV of the hostile you just eliminated or an Id idle four-wheeler with keys already in the ignition. Well, this is where I think it's uh, going to be more fun in the campaign as they even gave us the opportunity to explore around things in a different manner. Although we have to complete the objective, this time we are having drivable vehicles, unlike previous other Call of Duties where in the campaign, only those vehicles which were meant to be interacted as a part of the mission, we could interact with it. But looks like this time they are changing it. It's only until the release of the game that we will be able to find out that how many of those vehicles on the ground will be actually be interactable, right? They also say that we would be able to launch ATV which would be rigged with C force if you see that just next to that and it says only enemy helicopter then but I would like to try it more on other stuff how to blow things up with that ATV and beyond that it also says we would be able to throw some flammable gas canisters Never tried that, would love to try it. Essentially, um, open combat missions are based in idle of players' choice and challenge. Yes, exactly. So this is where it's going to come up as a new thing. If we are going off the path, then the traditional method of completing any mission, then we would definitely have a variety of challenges coming up on that way as well. All with all that said, these are the couple of things that that's uh, going to be new rest as they say, already have completely stated that most of the maps are going to be from the old Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare which is going to be clubbed up and remastered again. I don't know how excited are you guys are but I am really excited to see this new things coming up. I have not bought the game yet but I would like 
to love to see people playing essentially those who are i mean more intrigued and more deeply interconnected with call of duty franchise streamers and all that we'll wait to see them playing the, this campaign missions and maybe streaming and i would like to hear their, their comments before going ahead and they're bringing out their next mission and we would be able to see that the next mission glimpses on october to, uh, 5th on the twitch and their youtube channel official U call of duty youtube channel um the open beta early access has been divided into two sections week one and week two week one is going to be exclusive for playstation and week two will open up for cross play beta pc steam and all that other platforms and uh, that's all the information that's given here if anybody would like to read uh, in this thing into more detailed manner you can come up and check that out uh i'm really excited to find out what are the guns they are going to bring in this one how are they going to change change and uh, so far if you go to steam right now you would not be able to check the technical specifications that is required to play this game but that is also one more thing which i am quite fascinated to know about that what are the maximum system configurations these guys are going to prescribe for this game this time as with all the cinematics that i have seen i did not expect anything less uh, to be able to run this game and beyond this one whatever they are going to release in the upcoming times i don't think so uh, any of current generation i mean the at least those in ninth or 10th generation uh, systems may be able to run it unless they have some kind of extravagant gpu or maybe some other uh, hardwares that compensates things in a way so mine is definitely i'm doubtful about it because i'm running on a laptop gaming a laptop and i don't know how long it will be able to sustain all this new games upcoming in good fps because after all uh we can try out games but if you are having stat rings and constantly have to play on low graphics with uh, low fps that is something of pain i i guess everybody would understand this well we thought with that all said that is all what uh, i want to showcase and highlight uh after reading this blog post i don't know um see it, it, they, they still say it's fixed objective so i'm not that uh, very hopeful that it's going to be a complete open world type but if it had it would have been more fun oh yes before ending all this thing i felt i should uh, convey this too as well uh you guys might, might be wondering i mean all of us play then we see that they bring out bundles more often in the game every season not one not two but more than three bundles four bundles which in my personal opinion i feel i feel it that's not so relevant i mean uh, i do get fascinated with the animation sometimes uh, some kind of guns have but not always however uh if i uh, deeply ponder upon that fact that they bring bundles like that i feel that they should also give us uh an upper hand to customize our operators in the game shouldn't they i don't know how what, what do you guys think just let me know th that in the comment because let's say if i'm playing as a captain price and one of my teammates also chooses to play at, at cap as captain price um uh, we should have that upper hand to uh create a unique look for our operators regardless of the fact that we are playing the same operator in the game uh maybe whatever the skins whatever the costumes i have for my uh, operator my friend might not have it so why not let us uh, customize all that small things for the operators well if you had uh, you know call of duty if they have given this chance to do it things would have been more fun and more greatly amplified if i would say the guns already have that kind of mechanism before we didn't have it if i say so i mean we had i guess the tuning thing is the first time that we get it in modern warfare 2 if i'm not wrong uh because i didn't find it in uh, modern warfare 2019 yeah so whatever it is i mean just like the gun i mean one more extra thing that i have forgot to say that is for example we have a gun we have a couple of skins for that gun if we go and change the attachment we automatically get uh, skins for that particular item that we already have in case if we have any skin for that so why not give us that kind of an customization option for the operators as well i think that would uh, open more of a you know customizable um, scope for us as a players after all whatever items we get in the game if we are not being able to use it 
at its full extent what does it mean to be a min then well i agree we do can use it as a com complete package of a skin but it would be more fun if we could choose any uh, specific skin for a specific item and then you know put some other skin for some other items like as i said previously so this is what i feel about the operator skins operator customization that we should rather have than the uh, bunch of bundles that is being pushed in the game which i often find it uh, more clunky uh, if i go to the store menu and yeah that's all about the customizations and cosmetic things and well before ending i really appreciate for those people who come to this channel maybe new maybe old whoever keeps coming in for whatever reason uh if you guys could show your presence more with your comments with your likes i would really appreciate more and on the second note i would like to thank people from uh the us maybe in particularly uh right now in my channel more than 36 percent of the statistics comes from generally uh us but the majority of the viewers are definitely english speakers and at least for those who understand english and i really appreciate every one of you every single one of you whoever you are wherever you are from although anyone who finds this video maybe a new person complete new person just drop a like your like means a lot this would push the videos algorithm a little bit higher than it is expected and not only this video but any of the videos would get pushed i mean if any one of my channel's videos goes great automatically the channel goes into recommendations so that way it helps a lot for the channel's growth and that's all thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you guys uh, would let me know about the points that i have mentioned here what do you think about it and how excited are you and uh, what are your opinions about this game in particular there are many games that is being launched this year by that point of time november 10th close to november many other games are coming up let me know what else should be taken in consideration apart from this call of duty thing